Miss Sue, and today we're going to read Sun Above and Blooms Below by Felicia Cherneski. Where do you think this story takes place? What do we see on the cover? We see chickens and roosters and baby chicks. So let's find out. What daffodils, Miss Ava cheered. The earth just blooms this time of year. Cooped up in school without a doubt. You've caught spring fever. We're going out. Take off your smocks and wash those hands. Put on your slickers. We have great plans. This book has something important in it. It has opposite words. So the opposite of off is on. Our field trip will be so much fun. We'll see chicks hatch. Please walk, don't run. We climbed into the empty bus and filled it full of all of us. Waiting as we pass through town, we sort up hills and then back down. The opposite of up is down. From far away, a weather vane led us down a crooked lane, past straight wood fences, squat red pins. We parked near barns and clucking hens. Such funny birds, some big, some small, fluffy feathers, short and tall. A rooster crowd atop the coop, at the bottom, chicken poop. We giggled with our field trip buddies. The ground below, our boots were muddy. Above a sky of cloudy gray drizzled on our sunny day. Miss Ava said, now don't complain. It's just a little April rain. Then Lily played the traffic cop. The geese can go, but you must stop. What is the opposite of go? Stop. A sign hung on the closed barn door. Open me, come in, explore. An old round wheel was nailed beside the small square window. We went inside. Our slickers were wet, the hay bales dry. Two barnyard mousers loafed nearby. The white cat's name is Whisker Jack, the farmer said, and Buster's Black. There's Buster, Buster's Black, and there's Whisker Jack. We crowd around the incubator. It warms so many eggs. And later, we notice cracks in just a few. What were those eggs about to do? What do you think are inside those eggs? Miss Ava hushed us. Listen, watch. Peck, 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 a chip, a notch. Some eggs stayed whole, some eggs were broken. The hatchlings newborn chicks had woken. The farmer beckoned, soon enough, these fragile chicks are sturdy puffs. We laughed to see them nestling, sleeping, and wide awake. Chicks hopping, peeping. <gasps> Miss Ava cried, how time flies. We thanked the farmer and waved goodbye. Hello, blue skies and fresh, clean air. Spring opposites are everywhere. What is the opposite of a hello? It's goodbye. From rain to shine with room to roam, our day away now has led us home. I hope you enjoyed this book of opposites. Have a wonderful day.